video starts as 78-year-old Linda Morrow arrives early for a prayer meeting at Hilldale Baptist Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. Two women join her. One sits in front, the other right behind. They strike up a conversation. Then it happens. One stranger asks Linda to hold hands and pray together. Her head bowed and eyes closed. Linda is distracted. Cops say the woman behind reaches into her bag, takes out Linda's wallet, and helps herself to the cash and other items. Then she puts the empty wallet back in Linda's bag. The two women hightail it out of the church. Cops say these suspects went on a $7,000 shopping spree at a Sam's Club store using Linda's credit cards. Later that night, the outraged pastor Larry Robertson spoke out about the theft from the lectern. Keep your eye on your wallet even at church, I guess. I just never in a million years thought about anything like that it's happening. It's sickening. What happened is ridiculously. I nursed my cheating husband back from health from severe brain trauma, then he cheated again. Well, I think there's only one thing you can do about that unfortunate situation. You're probably gonna have to put him back to sleep. Maybe the next time he wakes up, he'll find a moral compass. Sexual gratification can certainly boost confidence, among other things, helping mental health. Dogs, amongst other animals, are sexually interested in humans. There is a potential for consensual sex here. You know what else there's a potential for? Someone finding out where you live and setting your house on fire. Hell is hot, and we ought to give you a trial run. My mom won't babysit her grandchild unless I pay her $20 an hour plus overtime. Sweet Jesus, that just sounds so petty and personal. At that point, it seems like your mother doesn't even want to deal with your child. And to be honest, that would be the conclusion that I would draw. If you're going to be that petty about watching my child, then you don't have to see my child at all. You feel me? Now, don't get me wrong. If I did have a child and I was asking my parents to watch my child, I would hand them some money for food, you know, toys, candy, whatever that my kid wants. My parents don't have to come out of pocket for that. But giving you money to watch my kid, that doesn't make any sense. Most grandparents want to interact with their grandchildren. It's a trope that grandparents dote on their grandchildren more than they did their own children. Woman fakes a elaborate wedding and sad attempt to get ex to text her. Sweet Jesus, imagine ruining the weekends of all of your friends and close family to get the attention of somebody who doesn't like you. I wouldn't be surprised if nobody, literally nobody spoke to her again. Friends, family, everyone, because that's pathetic. People were happy for you. They were willing to celebrate something with you and turns out all of that was a farce because some dude who doesn't like you is living rent free in your brain. Gay couple is being charged with <laughs> their adopted sons and also pimping them out to a <laughs> ring. This story blew up this week. I read the entire article and it's demented. All of the friends and associates to these two monsters abused these children. It was a giant operation that made these two demented <laughs> thousands of dollars all at the expense of these two children who simply just wanted a family who wanted a home. And the really terrible thing is when you find out just how much money these two f spent to get these children. Because in the United States, it's a pretty expensive process to adopt someone. You can't just pick up a kid for free. So they went out of their way to save money to pick up two children to pimp them out to their friends. There hasn't been a trial yet, but multiple articles and journalists assume that they're going to receive multiple life sentences for what they did to these two innocent little boys. University students stabbed on bus because she is Asian. A 56-year-old woman has been charged after an 18-year-old Indiana University student repeatedly was stabbed in the head on a public bus in an attack that the school says was because the victim is Asian. Yeah, she looks insane. Her eyebrows tell a frightening story. And the smirk is a cherry on top of it all because that means she's not actually crazy. She literally decided to stab someone because they were Asian. She was of sound mind. She made that decision. And she thinks it's funny. The viral cosplay bar Karen, full video. How would you have handled this lady? Could you have kept your cool? Hi, is anyone actually taking drinks here or anything? Yeah, she did. Oh, because I thought you guys were here talking and uh, all that. And I, I'm just confused. Oh, no, I was just giving her my hand for a little bit of a Oh, oh, okay. So, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a task. Let's see how quickly you can make an old fashioned and a, and a, and a Coca Cola. We don't have a full bar. I can't make an old fashioned. Well, you were making those guys whatever shots super fast. It took you like ten minutes to make whatever shot. Of it. It's just an Akashi that was shaken. Well, it took you ten minutes. No, if you want it like 
like a Sakashi. Okay, like so that. how about let's let's make this simple. Let's try again. A double shot of wild whiskey with a ginger bag and then a Coca-Cola. Can you repeat that to me? I just want to know you remember. I understand you think you're cute and that you can take your time. I'm a model. I know the I know the game. Girl, I'm not new. But please remember to respect people, okay? I wasn't realizing like, I was like respecting. just because there's a lot of guys here that literally are still willing to do whatever, doesn't mean you have to disrespect women. Let's see how fast you can do this. Let's see how fast you can do this. I just wanna see how fast you can do this. Wow. Just because you're thinking guys here that will do whatever does not mean that you can do this. Oh, I don't know. Also, if I can get your manager's name down, that would be great. My name is Heather. No, your manager's name. My manager? Yeah. Uh, Angel is working for friends. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and get Girl, just go ahead and get a big round before all that shit together. I'm not allowed to serve great liquor in anything other than working I watched as two mothers with five children and a baby throw all their food all over the place at the Cracker Barrel. They didn't even bother telling them to stop or clean up anything. They just got up and left the mess. This poor man had to clean it all up on his own. Apparently home training isn't common. Apparently common sense isn't common. Who would just throw garbage on the ground like that, that much garbage, and then just walk away like they didn't do anything wrong? Imagine being that much of a mongrel. Imagine being that classless. Uber driver tried charging an $80 cleaning fee saying we threw up in his car. We didn't. Proceeded to use the photos from Google to back up his point. This man really just pulled an image off of Google to scam $80. This dude is just grimy. Imagine being that desperate for money that you're willing to tell a lie, but so poorly that within 10 seconds of telling said lie, you are proven to be a liar. Like, come on, it's pathetic. If you're going to scam, at least do it well. Don't half-ass it. Family leaves this mess after the movie. Not only the children tried to steal my food, walked into the theater with flashlights 10 minutes after the movie started, and continued to ruin the movie in every way. I hope they got banned from the theater, man. Look, I disagree with the concept of social credit scores, because that can absolutely be corrupt and terrible. We all know what's happening in China. It's awful, right? But then you read stories like this where people just behave like Neanderthals and you're like, you should lose like 10 points and not be able to go to movie theaters again. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying I understand. I'm not condoning it, but I understand. <laughs> Do you ever just go out of your way to vandalize someone's Tesla by peeing on it after unplugging it the night before? Right there. But if they're out and about. Yeah. Oh, there. I usually make a couple laps through here anyway, but I'll try to make a couple extra just make sure there's nobody. Appreciate it. <laughs> just a. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that was probably the biggest thing now is that they come back. They'll probably, they'll they probably come back, they'll probably pull it again. They'll they see it. Over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's what we worry about is then they're going to do it again. And what right. they're going to do next. I'm not sure. Oh, God, it does. <laughs> I'm just playing with you for entertainment. Don't act like you all that. I'm just messing with you. Come on. You don't actually think I was attracted to you, like, slightly. I just wanted to get out of the hotel and maybe get my dick sucked, but you didn't even do that. What kind of fat girl are you? Come on. The kind that has enough dignity to not suck a disgusting guy's dick. <laughs> Go take another pill. You are a little fat girl, and you're only going to get fatter. Come on. Don't try to insult me, silly. It's fun to play with you and get you mad.
I could also get skinny, you know, but you'll never grow taller. <laughs> Whatever, you could never be skinny. <laughs> Don't be silly. Actually, not mad. I'm literally laughing my ass off right now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's why I talk to you. It's so much fun to mess with you. You're so gullible. Okay, bye-bye. You know what? Let's be honest here. After this comment, my man should have just, you know, left the lobby. He should have closed the game because she destroyed you, my man. She completely annihilated you. And I truly don't understand this mentality where people, both men and women alike, will say that someone's ugly when that someone rejects their advances. That mentality is a textbook oxymoron. You can't say that someone's ugly after you ask them out. It doesn't make any sense. You found them attractive. You're just butthurt that they didn't find you attractive. You can't call the fat girl ugly when you wanted that fat girl to suck your dick, bro. It makes no sense. PepsiCo sues four Indian farmers for $150,000 each for infringing its rights by growing the potato variety used in its Lay's chips. Look, I understand needing to protect your intellectual property, but this is some incredibly bad PR. You're really going to bankrupt four Indian farmers? because they have the audacity to want to eat food. It's potatoes. They aren't making potato chips. They aren't trying to make Lay's chips. They're just trying to survive. Yo, this happened in a New Jersey Walmart, man. They tried, the lady tried to stop her, one of the co-workers, and they pushed the old lady, assault her. And these ladies got their hair did, their nails done, eyelashes done, but they stealing like a thousand dollars worth of food you know they come in two cars deep they really like planned this six women you know what i'm saying so you can't afford you could afford to do your hair and your nails and your eyelashes and your nails but you can't you can't get you can't get no food yo what type of world we live in and you pull up in cars and all that like what how type of low how low can you go man and then you blame you blame others for what you going through man you ain't going through nothing man that's some greedy stuff right there man they need to put a stop to these people yo i've been pulled over two times while drunk driving and got my license but i still drive to be honest i'd wish for you to get into a car accident because these people only learn when there's a steering wheel in their head but to be honest y'all never die you will wrap yourself around a tree and somehow manage to still kill a family of five but look, there's a silver lining to all of this ignorance. This man took a picture of himself drinking in the car. He just ratted himself out. He's going to get arrested if anybody wanted to report him, and I'm pretty sure people did. This looks like it was on Instagram. Probably someone knows where he lives and can call the proper police station. Four boys assaulting teen flee after seeing their school headmaster. Then the school headmaster assaults her too. Police said the Bihar Primary School headmaster had seen the four minors abducting the girl and followed them to the bushes where she was being assaulted. The Bihar police arrested the primary school headmaster and are looking for the four minor boys for the 14-year-old girl's assault. I am of the opinion that when children commit crimes this serious, murder, sexual assault, etc., they need to be charged as adults. In my opinion, those acts are so vile there's no amount of rehabilitation that can happen to help and or repair that person. And with that being said, I wish that was the worst part of this entire story. The worst part is the fact that a teacher, the headmaster of this school, when given the opportunity to help this young girl, he instead chose to add to her trauma, to victimize her even more. A school headmaster did this, someone who children implicitly trust. All five of these monsters need to be deeply under the jail and i wish there was more that we could do because this girl is going to be messed up forever she's not going to be completely healed from this event and the most that we can do is either execute these people or keep them in prison for the rest of their lives that's all that we can do we can't undo any of her trauma this next clip shows a woman going out of her way to start trouble on a flight to hawaii on video don't touch me get out of my face you need to calm down you now. need to get away I'm from me you just you. touched my phone! You I just touched me! Your... You blocked it into my face! I didn't block it did! It hit my face! Oh. Get away from me! Get away! Oh my god! What is your guys' problem? You guys need to be trained! Sensitivity training! What? What the f <clears throat> You guys are 
Yes, Canada. public freakout. Crystal for walking on Instagram. Thank you. Thank you. Lawyers, hit me up. We're gonna get this Hawaiian Airlines money. Man tells four-year-old girl you don't know what love is before showing her his genitals. You know what? I want you guys to know this. I am being 100% genuine when I say this man is a gremlin. He looks like one. He behaves like one. And that's why he's spending the rest of his crusty and moldy life in a Florida prison. Okay, so we have a picture of a young woman in front of some soup. I think it might be ramen. Uh, I wonder what's wrong with the- oh, I see why this image was trending on the subreddit. It had over 30,000 upvotes. And initially, I was confused. I was like, what is wrong with a woman eating food? And then I saw the mother of the year in the background. It's a serious treat seeing someone teach their daughter how to be a nice person. Hey bro, we all talking about that. You gonna keep with the same lap, bro? Gonna keep on the same lap? What do you owe you, bro? What do you owe you, bro? 1350. No, don't, don't get no time. Yeah, wow, exactly. Mom, can you believe it? Can you believe it? When I came in, I knew something was off about this uniform. You know what I'm saying? I knew something was off about the uniform. I knew something was off about the uniform. I knew it. He talking about it. It ain't a better day. <laughs> oh, you got earrings on. We got earrings on. Full beard. Earrings. <laughs> you believe this car? I call pussy, man. I, man I, for me to be absurd, man, I feel real bad, bro. Bro, can you chill, bro? I feel real bad. Bro, can you chill, though? You must know what I said I was in the Marine. Really? You ain't trying to embarrass me in front of these people, bro. bro. You embarrass yourself, bro. You embarrass yourself and you, and you embarrass the branch of military. No, you embarrass me in front of this young lady. I will expose you, bro. Believe that. You you will be exposed for the day. Not only what else we know, you gonna know. Ma, my man right here, man, and you me. Can you police on here and tell him to get out? Please, tell him to get out, please. He is dinner. Who eat dinner? I am. He is. Can you tell him to get out with his plate? Because he's he, he trying to expose me. Well, you can't even get in here and say that you were a part of the... Uh, What's the dog tag say? Say that you served to protect our country when you absolutely really did not. If you wanted a 10% or a discount, all you had to do was come and talk to me. You didn't have to put on no front about none of that. You ain't got a lot of... You can't tell him to leave, though. No. Sir, can you call the police and tell them to leave or something? Are you ready to take us? Blocks intended to prevent homeless from sleeping on Kingsport benches spark controversy. Of course it sparks controversy. The first question that appears in everybody's mind is where did the money come from to modify the benches? If you guys had a budget for that, where's your budget for figuring out how to solve homelessness in your area? I'm not saying that it's an easy thing to solve. I'm just pointing out that there's some disposable resources that could solve your problem. You don't have to change the benches at all if you can figure out a solution to the common denominator here, that people are homeless. City man accused of attacking boy with crutch has 23 prior arrests, including attempted murder. A man arrested in connection with a brutal daytime attack of a 12-year-old Asian boy in Brooklyn earlier this month has been arrested nearly two dozen times in the past, according to reports. Now, for those who are paying attention, you might be noticing a trend, that this video has a little bit of a theme of Asian hate crime, and this is not on purpose. There's just been so much anti-Asian hate crimes happening in the United States in the past month that my folder is full of different stories like this. And most of these stories come out of New York and Los Angeles. Cities that are known for their lack of bail or super lax bail. This dude has 23 prior arrests for a reason. It's because they keep putting him back out after he collects another charge. There's been an uptick in hate crimes, robberies, assaults, murders in both of these cities because the same criminals are no longer being held in jail until their court date. Hardware store worker 83 dies after being knocked over by shoplifter. An 83 year old hardware store worker from the US has died weeks after he was tossed to the ground trying to stop a shoplifter still on the loose. I saw this video, unfortunately. It went viral on Twitter and people were livid. This monster right here stole two expensive power tools and the way that he was able to do that was by shoving this kind man who was only trying to do his job into a planter pot head first. And you heard right, head first. 
this criminal didn't just push this old guy, he picked him up with one hand and shoved him into the ground. The video would go on for a few more seconds and you saw this dude struggle on the ground. There was blood coming out of his nose and then eventually he just passed out. This dude took a life for power tools and didn't think twice about it either. And that's just how much he doesn't value the lives of others. And it gets worse. When the video was posted on Twitter, everybody started making comments about how this guy should have just moved away, right? He shouldn't have gotten in the way of the criminal. He shouldn't have tried to stop him from stealing. You know, all of the BS arguments about how this guy probably is just hungry or he's just desperate. Let him just take it. It's a big business. They have insurance. This man was murdered over power tools. It shouldn't matter what the motive was for the theft. Theft is wrong, stealing is wrong, murder is worse. And this monster here did both within 30 seconds. He committed both egregious crimes in 30 seconds and took a life. This man tried to stop someone from stealing because that was the right thing to do. And that's why I was glad that immediately after the video was posted on Twitter and went viral, there were multiple articles that went out of their way to celebrate this guy's life and talk about how it was brave of him to stop someone from stealing. What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris, aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and leave a like if you liked the video, and if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing, and if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. I've got another round of channel favorites coming down the pipeline for you this week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you guys are excited about that, and as always, if you want to hang out with me in the Discord chat, I will be there right after this upload, so we can just hang out, play some video games together. It'll be tough, it'll be so much fun. I wanna see you there. And as always, we gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible. A big thank you to The Bee King, Star Madness, Ren Hex, Joner, Project Ghost, Mr. Bean, Clifford, James Tucker, Lucas, Big Boy Bailey, Primavera, BMX30, Walinda, Ouija Baby, Cinnamon Sticks, Crush 40 Legacy Gamer, Scott, Rivka, The Fake Musician, Lightstar, Samantha Bellhart, Admin Faneker, Zach F, Darth Titan, Keeley, Dunder Has Hawk, Knobs, Lady Laughs A Lot, Swiss Patreon user, Noah, and Catherine Taylor. Thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there's two links in the description, one in my merch store and one in my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.